Welcome to Wiki Roulette, where we draw a lot and learn nothing. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Jake. Yep, uh, Caldwell's still out this week, uh, you know, doing... Oh, that's not supposed to be there. But that's not going to stop us uh, from clicking some random Wikipedia articles and drawing stuff. Oh, the entirety of human knowledge is at our fingertips. What? What will we discover today? Hamel, California. What's up, Hamel, <laughs> California? Uh, did you know that Hamel is an unincorporated community in Mono County, California? It's located nine miles northwest from White Mountain Peak, and uh, it's named after the Hamel brothers, William, Hugh, and Robert. And Mark. And Mark. <laughs> yeah, I'm just drawing Mark Hamill. <laughs> I'm drawing. Uh, I'm drawing Mark Hamill as his most popular character, the Joker. Mm-hmm. Naturally, he, I don't think he ever did anything bigger than that. Yeah. Uh, oh. In his whole Got acting it. career. A notable stop on the Carson and Colorado Railroad. So you know, just old timey pioneer folk would just come by to just stare at semi famous actor Mark yeah. Hamill <laughs> and his bizarre face. He is the uh, the only inhabitant of Hamill, California. <laughs> Uh, Harrison Ford likes to fly by once in a while, just look down and keep going. Yeah. <laughs> you have to go by on the, the railroad tracks on one of those old-timey push carts. <laughs> so get your strongest friend. <laughs> I would love to just see like two hobos on one of those push carts go by Hamill, California. Mark Hamill just runs up and like, hello, hobos. <laughs> and they're just like, keep going. Nope. It's not faster, a- faster, faster, faster. <laughs> Good... I lost my bindle. Oh god, I lost my bindle. <laughs> Leave it. That was, that was a really good uh, Mark Hamill Joker. Yeah, that was a good Mark what, Hamill Joker. Yeah, all you have to do is just start out squeaky, then turn it to this. <laughs> Damn, dude, dude, you got that down. Just, just listen to you do that the whole rest of the episode. First of all, I prefer skips if we're going by weird Mark Hamill voices. Okay, oh, yeah, I do like show. skips. <laughs> do, do skips. It's just this voice. <laughs> Like, they did not need to get Mark Hamill to do that. They were just like a bunch of 20-somethings. They were like, hey, you want to get Luke Skywalker to say goofy stuff for us? And they're like, yeah, definitely. (laughs) I don't celebrate birthdays. At the very least, you should at least give him like a, a, a prospector hat. Oh yeah, because because uh, because he's going to it's California. Because yeah, it's California. There's a gold rush. Uh, they never bothered to make it into a proper town. What's a prospector no. hat? Look, it's like one of these. Yeah, yeah, like you get the, the little thing and then sure. the, the, like that. Why not? Oh, a lot of pr- probably a lot of it's maybe straw like. Yeah, there's some straw. Or yeah, there there's some thatching going on. Ooh, that's a great word. Thatching. Yeah. I hope that's our next article. <laughs> it's just about <laughs> thatching. Uh, oh, and... okay. This is weird. I'm gonna. I, I don't know why. All right. When in the movie Empire Strikes Back, mm-hmm. uh-huh. they don't reveal Mark Hamill's face until he gets smacked in the face by the wampum, wampus, Krampus. Yeah, the Krampus. The wild rumpus. The wild rumpus. <laughs> um, from the wild things are and book. <laughs> the that wild was... things are. Yeah, they just are wild things. <laughs> that was the original title. Yeah, they added the where later. <laughs> Why? Oh, I I noticed you gave him a '90s era camcorder. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's he's stuck in the '90s because uh, that was the peak of his fame when he was the Joker. Dude, Mark Hamill watches the show. Oh no! You better take that back. <laughs> and he's also surfing. Because <laughs> he's, he's in Cal- California. <laughs> this is Hamill, California. This is where, how Hamill does California. Everybody party down to Hamill, California. Where the women are pretty and the surf is out all day. <laughs> he's the Joker, <laughs> not a smoker. <laughs> Mark <laughs> Hamill. Yeah. I'm going to win the big beach competition. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10, you guys. <laughs> Man, he should probably also, just... he will win because he's the only one there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. He's scared. I forgot about the deep lore of this not-quite well, place. Yeah, he's actually the only... Only people named Hamill are allowed in Hamill, California. So I like yeah. to think that Hamill, California is one of those in-between places, in between this universe and the next. <laughs> one of the not places <laughs> I don't that understand. you can travel through. I love the call-out of this 90s-style camcorder. This is, like, definitely when I learned to draw cameras. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, that's what cameras look like. Yep. Forever. Yep. Forever. 
Because uh, 80s, it would be, like, way huger, and by, like, early 2000s, it's just a flip cam. Yeah. Right, that right. That is a strictly 90s. All right. What is he recording? Uh, you know, just... Just the the nothingness. He's not even looking at what he's recording. <laughs> he's recording. Uh, he's recording this cool like Hollywood shark. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> it's Jaws. Oh, so Jaws lives there with him. <laughs> the shark that played Jaws. Famous New Jersey shark. Yeah. Jaws retired to yeah. Hamill, California. He's going like. What's up? What's up, bro? What's up, Mark? How's it going? How's it going, Mark? Uh, again, I, I, I would... love I love your work in. Uh, Arkham, or Corvette City. Summer. This is that's how sharks sharks just. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> that's right. They do that thing that dolphins do sometimes. Yeah. I just, liked your bizarrely small role in The Kingsman. <laughs> he was in The Kingsman. He was in The Kingsman. It's like real weird. Oh man! At no now, point are now they I've like... got to see The Kingsman. <laughs> I wasn't gonna, but for Mark, I'll go dark for Mark. I mean, it's it's uh, it's Jupiter know. ascending and Kingsman, the twin jewels of the winter cinema crown. They are equal and opposite jewels <laughs> on either these, side of these the dumb crown. Teeth. <laughs> what? Oh gosh! There, I made them worse. Okay, Jacob, uh, yeah. why don't you uh, draw something? I'll, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that person, thing. place, a thing or idea. Well, Literally anything is possible. Here we go. Random article number two. What? What are we, is that the history of the Spain? history of Spain? <laughs> like, oh my God! Like Dude. the whole thing, the entirety. No, 1975 to present. Oh, that's, okay. That's mm. just that history. Just There's that a whole history sep- of Spain. Th- that's so. Don't worry, you don't have to draw anything about uh, the horrifying Franco era. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's James Franco, correct? Oh yeah. gosh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so what are what are some noteworthy events that happened in Spain between 1975 and the present? Uh, same thing that happened everywhere else. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, um, you're Franco. That's exactly it. Began this period began with the death of dictator Francisco Franco. So if you even try and draw Guernica, we're going to be on to you. Okay, fine, fine. No Guernica. <laughs> you, you tell me this every time. You just, I just want to draw Guernica once. Ooh, can I? Can I scroll? You cannot scroll you while cannot I draw. Scroll while he's drawing. Oh, but well, you can then. scroll right now if you want before I start. Scroll to a, a spot. Scroll to a spot you like. You gotta, you gotta move it all the way over. You got uh, it. Ooh, there's a constitution. There's a dissolution of the UCD. Oh, I did not pay it. I there's mean, people. A Felipe Gonzalez, of course, uh-huh. the seminal Felipe Gonzalez, Jose Maria Anzar, and um, there was a uh, oil carrier accident. Uh, I'm gonna make up the history of Spain. Is yeah. that cool with you guys? Yeah, I, I mean, great. Y- Remember when that bullfighter managed to single-handedly win the Vietnam War? Well, the bullfighter had to fight the bull that had been oppressing Spain. Until that point. <laughs> oh my God! I you know the, I the great the, bull, the great, uh, the terrible Franco the bull. Um, yeah, El Toro Gigante. <laughs> El Toro Gigante. <laughs> El Toro Gigante. Yeah, that, they don't really talk about because you know the U.S. Uh, history classes are you know they're more they're more focused on even the world history classes are more focused on like the Western world uh, history and we don't we don't get a lot of uh, a lot of Spain. Yeah, we don't get a lot of Spanish history, but here's you're gonna get a lesson. We gloss over the El Toro Gigante period in mm-hmm. uh, well, it was 19, a, 1975. In 1975. <laughs> in the dark ages of Spain, 1975. The U.S. <laughs> the US was dealing with its own shit at that point, and uh, yeah. <laughs> There was just, there was just a giant bull. <laughs> there I was mean, a giant bull rampaging through all of Spain. Meanwhile, back in our history classes, they were all just like Portugal, 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 and uh, like it's a shame that we missed out on this really important part of history. Yeah, Portugal just had like a chicken. Yeah, like a m- regular size. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, and the you know standard what? chicken of Portugal. Of course, we're referring to the greater barnyard wars that had consumed the entirety of Western Europe. Guys, this is Farm Week here on Drop Me. We're, uh, we're doing our all farm jokes all all the time. Whether <laughs> you bull. whether you want them or not. This is actually that's not, that's this not is actually the original work. the original Chicago bull. Yeah, this was he was the first one. Uh, the, the, it's really insensitive, actually. A lot of controversy because the Chicago bull was based on. El Toro Gigante, El Toro Gigante, which caused a lot of people uh, a lot of harm. Now, I'm sure you actually, you guys probably do have fans in Spain that are watching this right now, and I yep. just want to say, like, 
you know, we know it's not all bullfighters out there. There's also tapas. Yes. Yeah. Like, those, we're not ignorant. Those are the two things. Those are the mostly the two things. You, you also got, uh, you got Serrano yeah. ham. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that stuff's that good. That stuff's good. That's, that falls under the tapas category, though, so let's not. I mean, you can make a, you don't need to make just a small plate with that. You can make you a could have plate. A, you could have a big you plate of ham. You could have a big plate of ham. I know. <laughs> go, to, go to a restaurant. <laughs> can I just get a big plate of ham? Yeah, I know so normally you guys do. We tapas restaurant. We have small plates. You do the small yeah. plate. <laughs> I, want a, I want a big plate of ham. I just want a really big plate of ham. Like, is that... Okay. Oh, I'm banned from Spain forever. Okay, that's that's fine. No, no Spanish person on earth will actually will will debate you on whether or not their country is full of ham weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, that's kind of our thing. You go into a room, it's full of severed feet. You pick one, and then you get to eat it. It's. <laughs> Was that a weird way to refer severed, to ham? Severed feet. I grew up kosher. Ham looks weird to me. I get it. Gets, yeah, it's like the leg, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a hawk. I guess there's a foot. If if you go in down in Spain, there's a foot. If you go down far enough, there. Yeah, right. It's it's a it's a proof hoof. Yeah. They'll like they'll they'll be proud. They'll be like, oh, this one, but got to like frolic in the forest and only eat like natural hazelnuts and and acorns and it's like. Oh yeah, those special nuts that the pigs the pigs just roam the forest. Uh, don't they go for like truffles? Isn't that what pigs there's do? Some, they're, they're special. I mean, are those special pigs? Are those Spanish pigs or no? Maybe. Maybe. We know nothing. Uh, the Barcelona Olympics it's, also fun. It's uh, like we we started off. You know, we got Saint Kitts and Nevis. You know, mm -hmm. that one that's a country, but like not a lot of people talk about Saint Kitts and Nevis. Spain. Pretty bait like <laughs> feel like we should know something about that one. <laughs> so much and we know nothing. Like, uh, I'm honestly like I'm a little bit scared and I'm a little bit. Like, center this up a bit. I'm over here working in like the bottom right corner of our entire mm -hmm. canvas. El Tor it's El Toro Gigante along with El Hamon <laughs> Hamel Gigante yeah. and uh Jaws El Tiburon Gigante. Uh, I'm gonna just shrink this a little bit. Yeah, Is that can, cool? Yeah, yeah. But you know, don't don't constrain proportions. No, no I'm just gonna make free. It, I'm gonna freehand it. Make it make it get real squishy. I'm just gonna freehand that whole deal. Look at that. I, I mean, you know, the El Toro Gigante. He smashed a lot of buildings, but like he actually was pretty good for the Spanish economy. Oh, you know, a lot of jobs for uh, construction and insurance. Yeah, I mean, there's it's a it's a controversial but stance. The entire, but the uh, entire the entire red colored cape sector was destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Bizarrely but enough, yeah. <laughs> As well as uh, the weird hats that bullfighters wear. Ooh. Yeah, um, they were hats. Yeah, so here is the uh, here's Matadors. our hero uh, down here. Uh, El Toro Gigante was huge, bigger than villages, mm -hmm. forests, as you can see. Uh, right. The guy who beat him, normal sized bullfighter. Normal sized bullfighter. <laughs> so he's just down here. Uh, he's going to be holding out his little cape. Aww. Doing his little uh, the bullfighter's kind of stance here. Right. And he's got the, the legs key, uh, together, the cape out right here, flowing in the breeze. You know, say say what you will about uh, cruelty to animals, but uh, I think it's God, great. They, God, they're majestic. Those those matadors. Yeah, man. I mean, everybody secretly wants to put on a matador outfit, or not secretly. In my case, yeah. I want to put on a matador outfit. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, With that weird like half coat thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's the it's the Attack on Titan like waist high. Uh, Waist high coat. Oh, thank God, anime. Yeah, okay, something we can talk <laughs> about. <laughs> yeah, can we get... Uh, do, they, do they have anime in Spain? Can we get some anime posts on Wikipedia, maybe? That's uh, not up to okay. us. And here's the actual way I'm he just, you know, I'm praying to the Wikipedia him. gods. Mm -hmm. I think Crystal G probably has uh, something to do with that. Right right behind him was a cliff. Oh, yeah. Oh. The great the cliffs of Spain. The, cliffs of, <laughs> the white cliffs of Spain, <laughs> as they are known. They were white, and then they became red. With the with, blood of yeah, El with the blood of El Toro Gigante. Oh my gosh. As it splattered up. So yeah, here's the cliff. Uh, and, uh, all of our Spanish friend, friends and fans, uh, extra, that, extra that sorry. Lost. Super so Oh, paellas. Paellas are delicious. Oh yeah, from Seinfeld. Yeah. I made all this paella. <laughs> Right? George's mom? Yeah. Right, yeah. She, she said that. That was the origin of paella. That's, that's, that's my origin of paella, which I assume is everyone's. All right, let me let me shrink this down, and then we can... Uh... Can you just have that, like, have those guys be, like, in the water below those cliffs? Because I, I think Hamill, California is right next to 1975. Oh, Spain. yeah. Yeah, for right. sure. 
we're gonna we're gonna make ourselves and the a beautiful El Toro Gigante is like what sort of future camera is he holding? <laughs> it must be from at least twenty years from now, but not more than twenty <laughs> years from now. Oh, I need to. Uh, you need to select the right layer. I first. have to choose the right layer. You did. Oh man, I'm really dropping the ball on this one. Okay, I'm gonna pick the ball back up. Mm-hmm. Stop embarrassing myself. Oh yeah, there there they are. Uh, yeah, there they gonna, are right down there. We're gonna put them down here. <laughs> can make it nice and small. They're gonna make it nice and to small. See. Okay. Well, I mean, it's got to be like you know vaguely in proportion. Right, here. right. Like here's the cliffs. Yes. And then this is uh. This you get the is water. The you get the ocean surf down here. Surfs yeah. it. Yeah. That's a dangerous place to be surfing, like right next to <laughs> right next to a cliff. cliffs. Well, Mark Hamill. Mark is, Hamill's a, a dangerous man. I he, mean, his metachlorine count alone lets you know that he is in capable hands. Yeah. Also, he's invincible. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Mark Hamill's invincible. He's I read that. Terrifically fragile. I don't know if you actually. I mean, I don't want to get serious. <laughs> <laughs> he's terrifically fragile. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. That's, All right. that's oh, the scene. That is gorgeous. That's a beautiful scene. Let's, Sorry, uh, Spain. Let's get one more random article in here. Yeah, um, sure. And see where it takes us. If it's another just place, I might click again and edit <laughs> that out. Who knew there were so many? Yeah! 1696 <laughs> in England. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, so England wait. is right next to Spain. That's true. So, okay, so what do, we, what's, what do we know about this? Some people died... Nothing even happened. Nothing even happened in 1696. Monarch England. William the Third. Mm-hmm. Uh, a third? Jacobite invasion happened. Oh, a Jacobite invasion? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm just gonna draw Jacob invading. <laughs> can, uh, can Jake be invading with me? He's yeah. also a Jacob. We're both oh. Jacobs. <laughs> oh yeah. The, okay. Oh, yay. Okay. So you guys, <laughs> I'm gonna. Okay. So there, you, Jake, Ub. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, a little known fact about uh, England is that when it was 1696 in England, it was 1975 in Spain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, different, different year, different calendars. It's because of the metric system. Yeah, the metric um, system. Uh, as a fellow Jacobite, what uh, what's your what, what kind of Protestantism do you do you uh, do you uh, do you adhere to? The strict weird kind? I hope so. Uh, well, I'm actually a big fan of turbo Protestantism. <laughs> oh man, this is. I felt be like the great. normal kind wasn't strict and weird enough. <laughs> turbo Protestantism. <laughs> yeah. Also, it, it, it's, it just plays faster than normal <laughs> Protestantism. Turbo mode. That's. Uh, I, I mean, turbo turbo Protestantism was uh, started by Martin Luther X. Yeah. <laughs> Martin the, Luther. the extreme version of yeah. Martin Luther. The half cyborg version of Martin Luther. <laughs> Sur surprisingly, not a fusion between Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. No, no. no. And uh, obviously the war between them and the Gigapope raged on for <laughs> millennia. Some say to this day uh, in different parts of the universe. Yeah, if you're a hollow earther. <laughs> <laughs> hollow earther. Which I am. <laughs> Which I totally am. So uh, I'm, I'm wielding a sword. Am I riding on Jake? Yeah. Of course. Of course. This these this was the entirety of the Jacobites. <laughs> it's just me riding on Jake's shoulders. Just like a Scottish Highlander is just looking <laughs> over a, a hill just being like Boy, what's that? <laughs> well, uh, Sound the alarms! It's the Jacobites. <laughs> all, all, both of them. They're coming. Give you some, give you some armor. I kind of feel bad for them. <laughs> At least I get some armor. Thanks. Yeah, to yeah. You, you get some armor, and uh, it's not just me know. in a t-shirt with a yeah. stupid-looking sword. There is. Uh, Oh man, do you remember that shortage of silver coinage that resulted in the guinea being officially revalued? <laughs> At 21 <laughs> shillings instead of 30? You know, the great recoinage of May 1696. Yeah, my, my parents still talk about that. <laughs> that, was a, that was a bad day. Yeah. For the, for, it's like I had so many guineas. <laughs> just, Suddenly. It's, they were just revalued, you yeah. know? I mean, they weren't, you know, the worst, wasn't the worst thing, but wasn't wasn't great. Wasn't the best. I wasn't happy about it. It's not super happy. I mean, that's why I have all my money in tankards of ale, which uh, is only going to go up from here. Yeah, they're always valued at one. Tankard. Oh, you turned me into a shark boy. You're a uh, you're jet. Oh, I'm a jet shark. Jet jet Jake. You're, oh my god, we're suddenly <laughs> like way more formidable than we were. You're a shark jet. Um, so that's you guys. You're coming in, uh, coming in hot. We got uh, '90s 
Mark Hamill down there. Uh, I I think this is a pretty accurate representation of uh, the world, how the world looked in uh, you know 1975, 1990s, and, uh, and 1696. 1696 all at once. Uh, oh, and uh, gotta give you the uh, the old the old Union Jack because that was the flag of England in 19 in 1696, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bet you guys weren't expecting a history lesson on today's Drawfee, but you sure or, did get it. Or a wrong one. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Write this on your history papers at school, and you are guaranteed to fail your classes. Is this a con- am I drawing the You're con- drawing the Confederate flag <laughs> oh, so- for no reason. <laughs> oh, Union Jacks. No, please stop. Union Jacks this. Sorry, sorry. Okay, here we, we go. We need to know about, so- like... This show has just revealed week in, week out how dumb we are on a profoundly fundamental yeah, level. Yeah, I mean, we already, like, we're pretty dumb. <laughs> well, I mean, we can either sit here and worry about how dumb we are, or I can hop on your back, Jake, <laughs> and you can rocket us over the New York skyline. What do you say, buddy? <laughs> just chop off my legs and let's make this happen. Here's New York skyline. Natural <laughs> <laughs> <That's> liberty. <laughs> Statue of Liberty right next to the Empire State Building. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, in the middle of, in, of Manhattan. Sassy Statue of Liberty. She's got her hand oh, on her damn. hip. <laughs> and, uh... In April of 1696, the window tax was introduced. Oh, God. <laughs> That's Fucking... the most interesting fact about 1696. What, what's Obama going to do next? Am I right, you guys? <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Anyway, uh, this is a show that we do where we show how dumb we are. Thanks for watching. We're... Extra sorry. Sorry.